Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Fantastic Mr. Ghost. I'm walking in my crazy looking weird suit here. I forgot to look at these. I was so excited about it. Uh, let me show you the other ones. Here's the advanced radiation suit. Ghost is sporting the advanced radiation suit. Oh, it's so sexy. Oh, and by the way, the first one, the white, was the general purpose science suit. And this is the follower's lab coat right here. Um, it doesn't look any different than any other lab coat. And I've been wanting one of these. Now I know where to get one. So let's take a look here at our stat runes. First of all, let me put my, oh, let's see, put my Benny suit on and my... Um, oh, wait a minute, where, oh, 30 glasses, there we go. The advanced radiation suit we picked up in the followers um, in the last episode here. So that's plus 40 rad resist as opposed to 30 with a regular radiation suit. The all-purpose science suit is plus 5 to science. However, the followers lab coat is 10 plus and a plus 10 to med. So you can throw this on and uh, so we can have like our science to 90 uh, and of course our med to 90 and we'll be at 100, which is great. So it saves some points that you don't have to distribute and other things. So that is awesome. Now the, what is the other thing at? Um, oh yeah. So we got the advanced radiation suit, which we're going to keep. Um, I'm going to sell this because I don't need the five because we have... Um, the followers one. So it's plus 10, plus we get the med, you know, and all that. And I already sold that other one that I had. Now, I'd like to get, I'm going to get rid of this eventually because our sk skills will be, we're at 73 barter plus because we have perception right now. And that gives us more barter. So in a sense, yeah, long story short, med plus 10, we only need to bring our Skills up to 90. Now, I want it, I'd like to get everything to 100. I don't know if that's possible because I have to go to the DLCs and pick up those books to get the plus four on all those things. And although we're getting 40, like right now I'm at level 31. So we have 19 levels left. Take that times 15. And that's how many points I have left to distribute just with leveling alone. And I don't, I'm not sure how many books are out there in the DLCs. I have, there's a few that I couldn't get because it's relating to other missions having to open up. Uh, so there's a few out there that I have to still yet, still yet have to get. Uh, but I mean, there are probably only two or three. I, I would say even, yeah, probably two or three. Uh, most of them are probably melee weapons and all that crap. So last episode, we got through a kind of a glitchy, weird um, strip mission with the uh, weird um, Lux, whatever the heck that's called. Yeah, so the uh, White Glove Society, we got through there, and it was kind of frustrating because there were certain things that were unclear. Um, I don't think I was clear on on the, the casino stuff, and I, I had it in there twice because the recording went over two days. <laughs> I started recording, and then I went to bed, and I woke up, and sometimes I'll forget I covered something. Um, but to uh, just re, you know, reinforce that when I went into there, there is a glitched um, door. Um, I, I don't think they thought this through, or they never tested it. Probably I don't know, or they tested it. And they just didn't have time to fix it, so they had to release. But the door that's going into the um, members only on the uh, Lux uh, Casino that immediately popped up a box in the unlock mini game and it screwed you over so just by accessing the lock it's it completely busted my um you know my fame and infamy and all that crap with the white glove society and the only way i could get out of that door get out of that mini game or the only way i could get out this box cleared by clicking i couldn't click okay so I had to unlock the damn door to click the box. That meant I went into the um, the hall, and then they vilified me. So I was like, now, I don't agree with the fact that it's 
if they're going to pull that on you, like, hey, if you access this door, you're going to be um, frowned upon, blah, blah, blah. That's how that door should have been because they, they completely locked the door in the main hotel area, casino hotel area. But when you were downstairs, it was broken. You know, there was a glitch with it. And then not only that, but some of the missions aren't, they're not really clear as to how to complete them or if there's more to them. Um, you know, all it takes is a little bit of dialogue to get people to understand, or players to understand, oh, there's more here. Uh, so, you know, that's just, so, you have to roll with the punches. You know, not all games are perfect, but that's just what I observed. And future playthroughs of this, which I pro I don't know if I'd ever play this for the channel again. I'd like to do different challenge runs maybe later. But knowing this now, I can adapt to it. You know, and that's all I'm saying is for other players who are watching the series, I want you guys to all see that. Oh, if, you know, if I play this game, I got to watch out for that. Because it's one thing to watch someone play. It's a completely different experience actually playing. So that's kind of why I want to present these things, you know. Now. We are going, let me, get, I got my Benny suit on, and we are going to work on the other family. Now, I had another idea about that there's supposed to be three families here. What I'm thinking is there, and I kind of was touching on this last episode, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm trying to figure this stuff out with by not looking at the wiki, so I might be off base or whatever, but... The Lucky 38 I, and the Tops, I believe, are the same quote-unquote faction. So, because they're talking about three families here. that Because there's 38 Gamora, um, and then there's the Lux and the Tops. So we got one, two, three, four. So I'm like, well, wait, where's the other... Why am I not getting the Tops you know, stuff here. So why is there no entry for for this in the coat in my Pip-Boy? Well, what it is, I think, is that it's the Lucky 38 plus tops. Because Mr. House is kind of, he runs the place, but he's considered a family member or a part of the strip. So I think that's what why there's three. And that's confusing yeah, too, you know. Sure. It's like, uh, what, you know, what? So let's see what... Are these? Oh, look at this! Look at this! I oh, wow, I got the same magazine there. Chivalry, chivalry, chivalry. All right, now um, let's see. Oh yeah, the Ultra Lux. I keep forgetting that. Again, I gotta haven't committed all this crap to memory. Now we gotta work on this strip mission here. I'm gonna try to get idolized with these folks Welcome here. Back to Gamora. And let me get through that. I have to. There's two mar markers here. And two family members. That is a thug. I'm hoping there's no glitches and bugs and unclear crap in this thing. So let's work through it. If there's a lot of cuts and things, it's because I'm learning as I go here. Uh, looks like we have to go in. Oh, it looks like I have to go up maybe into an elevator. But let me see if I can find somebody down here. Ah. So here's the use of the Zora key here. So I'm on the lower lobby. I took an elevator down here. Did Benny beg? Okay. He burned his sorry ass. <laughs> burned him. Uh, Benny did not beg. He was he was asleep. All right, let's go through this door here. So I'm trying to get the lay of the land as I go here. Oh, go upstairs here. These doors are turning up yellow. I think because I have a key. And even though you have a key, does it, and they're, does it, if you have a key, they could be red. That still means, I guess, you're trespassing. Aha. So here is Clandon. So we're supposed to find out what kind of work Clandon does for the family. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? All right. What do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. God, that was descriptive. How'd you end up with one of the hotel suites? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. So it looks like Kachino sent me to talk to you is the only thing we have here that's going to get us information. Kachino? Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? <laughs> well, nothing came of that. I'm a little confused. 
Okay, I'm in the lower lobby now, or lower floor. Took There's an elevator. The map markers are really messed up, so I don't know what the heck's going on here. This looks like, oh, I need a, um, I'll probably try and pick that lock before I go back up here, if I remember. And it looks like I we got... hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Yeah, that's me. Troik? Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. All right. What do you do here? I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Okay. Oh, tell me what happened with the prostitute. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. Do you know where the knife came from? I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. Interesting. I don't know where this is coming from. I have a couple more questions about what happened that night. All right, have at it. What kind of chems were you doing? That night, mostly buff out. I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. Oh, God. That was my standard Saturday night. Medicine 30. Oh, cool. That doesn't sound like enough to get you to lose a whole night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. Okay. Something about Troik's story doesn't sit well. Talk to Big Sal or look around for some evidence to ex exonerate him. All right, let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? All right, this Kachino sent me to ask you about some guns. Kachino? Kachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. I'm looking to help Kachino break up whatever the bosses are planning. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Oh, look at this. I can lie with a speech 80. If you don't help me, I'll report your work here to NCR. Great. So I'm fucked either way. Yep. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. Lost karma, huh? Why would I lose karma here, I wonder? So what can you tell me about the guns the Armertas have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. Okay. How'd you get these guns into the strip? I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. Huh. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the oh. Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. All right. Where do the guns come from? I've made a lot of contacts over the years. I have some friends back in California that can get their hands on just about anything. Mostly, I've been calling in every last favor I have. What can we do to take care of the guns? As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns Ooh. as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. <laughs> I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Okay. Ooh, speech 70. If you don't deploy the thermite yourself, I'll tell the bosses what you've been planning. I want to see what the weapons are, though. Because I have a feeling that door that I passed is where the guns are. Okay, cool. All right, let's get out of that combo. And I want to unlock this door here. That was a pain in the rear opening that thing. Oh, wow, look at this. Ooh, five mil rounds. Well, it looks like it's just these two cases here that are accessible to the player. So I'm going to head back up and talk to that guy, and hopefully I can get some dialogue going with him. Because I think that having him take care of the guns is the way to go. On the other hand, I don't know. I think, now that I'm thinking about it, I if I destroy the guns... That might be a Have problem. So I guess I'll speech check him. But here's what I'm thinking: that because I lost karma by talk, you know, doing whatever I said to him. There, there's something going on here. I think that I shouldn't be doing this against the 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 
bosses here at this casino, but let's go through with it. Hey, fuck you. What? All right, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. <laughs> you get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. All right, uh, so I guess I got to get out of the casino. He's going to destroy the guns for me, and I should head out to the casino and give him time. All right. Ah, here's Big Sal. Hey, you're Cachino's friend. You got business with me? Hey, Big Sal, what's going on? What kind of business we you do here? We run a hotel. What do you think our business is? <laughs> oh, Mick and Ralph are curious why you stopped buying guns from them. Sorry, but I don't know you from Adam. And you don't have any business getting in our business. Oh. All right. Come back any time. <laughs> he didn't seem too angry about me pro pro prodding him. Now, I I came in here to get a book. And let's see what's in this safe. Ooh. That's a blackmail note. I remember seeing that. All right, so this is this note in the safe here. Uh, hey, boss, we took care of Troke. I think it's tr Trike? Trike? Just like you asked, the stupid bitch that tried to run away made the perfect patsy. We get the double benefit of her stinking body, serving as a warning to the rest of the girls. Trike was so effed up that he spiked... Oh, up on that spike jet that we could have stabbed him in the balls and he would have said Daisy. We're going to take a little vacation for a bit. Troy may have seen one of our faces while he was drifting in and out. We don't want him getting suspicious. Hopefully that scrawny little F does some good business for you. Thanks for, thanks for the bonus, boss. Okay, so I, yeah, I'm learning here. I'm learning. I think that's it's a paperweight there. Um, now I already got him doing the thermite, so I don't think I can talk to him anymore about this. That would get him. I think that's just another way to get him to do what you want, or maybe what he will you at? take care of something for us. You know, like we don't have to convince him and, and speed check him and stuff. Uh, let's. Let me see. Oh, that's the way out there. Yeah, let me go find Troik and see if I can talk to him. Otherwise, I don't know. This thermite's going to take down this whole this whole operation. I don't know. Here's in the, in the quest log. I didn't know this, but it says return to Kachino to let him know. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. All right. And then there's something we need to probably do to get Clandon to open up and tell him what he's up to. Or uh, tell us what he's up to or what he does here. Because I would like to know that. So there's got to be something around here Gamora with some information. For business. All right, I just unlocked this door. I'm on the top floor again. And looky here. I found a Gamora prostitute. And this is what that guy was talking about. There's a doctor's bag here. Search her. And this woman is dead. Would you like to inspect her to see if you can get more information? Medicine 35 or higher. Inspect. The girl appears to have been tortured for several hours, then murdered. Judging by the rate of liver mortis, you guess the body has been here for less than a day. Now, I don't... That ties into... This other guy... Um, you know, downstairs, because he said, oh, yeah, you know, I murdered this chicken. I didn't even know it. I was out, right? So this is, they're framing him. They're, you know, they're probably making him, a, you know, more useful. All right, I think Kachino's right here. There he is. I can't find anything in that guy's suite um, to get him to talk. So I'm going to talk to Kachino here. Hey, what can I do for you? All right, I have some questions about the boss's plans. I'm going to see what this is. All right, let's have them. Ah, I spoke to Clandon, and I couldn't get anything out of him. I figured you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I did some asking around about him. On the down low, of course. Oh. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Huh. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. Oh, I see. 
Do you know anything about what they're planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. So I haven't seen Nero yet. It's hard to find these guys sometimes. All right, I had to back completely out of the conversation to get this to back to the beginning here. Oh, it's so annoying. So, all right, there's a choice between, I guess, killing that guy up in the suite and Troik um, destroyed the guns for me, a dialogue here. So we'll go with that. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Oh, Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Oh, no. Now the bosses want to see you. Uh oh what's the next step? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Really? Why do they need to die? As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. Okay, how do we take care of them? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. Speech 80. Oh, are they... They're going to expect something from me. Can you... You can do it and surprise them. How about what happens when the bosses are gone? When they're gone, I'm going to run this joint. Ah. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. Okay, so I feel better about the decision to go after these bosses here. All right, so speech 80 is the, you know, thank, thankfully I have that. So, you do it. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. Oh, let's go. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. All right, I'm all drugged up and ready here. I got my Maria. Who are these guys? All right, that is Nero and Big Sal. What's he doing? Hello? It's time for the meeting with the bosses. We can't shift. Got you now. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not you. He bent down. Ain't gonna help you. Let me get more on Big Big Sal here. Oh, I got karma! Oh, yeah. They're down. Well, they got a couple of hits on me. And I'm idolized by the strip. Yes! Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you're idolized by the community. Some... Uh. He went, Ugh. What the hell? Oh, my gosh. All this stuff popping up there. Quest of Mark 4 of 5. Hey, all thanks right. for all the hard work back there. Sure. I'm going to run a tight ship here. Don't you worry. I won't. I'm planning on playing some games in the casino. Of course. After all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play. Have some fun. Ooh. Oh, that's it? 50? Well, that's good enough. You know, I mean, I'll take it. Later. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Now, what's interesting is I wonder if I can gamble here now without getting kicked out and I can just get a ton of money and buy all kinds of stuff. Let's check these bodies out. All right, I got a password. It's probably for his terminal. And then the office key. I'll just take it so I don't have to unlock any locks. Ooh. He had an assault carbide. I'll have to take that one. Another office key. Good old Maria. The, the gun that shot me in the head. All right. Now, it's saying question, questing mark four of five. What I'm thinking is that the one mission that isn't spawning on me is what probably the, the one. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> I got some drug addictions going here. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, you know what? Um, let me see here. Yeah. Cause I, unless, oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe the lucky 38 with, uh, Mr. House. Maybe that's what's going to get me more questing marks. Cause I'd like to get those. All right. Oh, oh boy. Let me get prepped for this. Well, 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 folks. Look what I see. It's Victor. Remember I was wondering where he was? I haven't seen him in a while. Hi, buddy. Well, howdy, partner. Good Hello. to see you again. Huh? Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. 
The boss is waiting. He said boss. All right. Well, thank you, Victor. Come back soon now. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Okay, guys, don't... You see this? I'm going in. I'm going in. Look at that. That is cool. I'm hearing weird noises. Okay. How do I get... Oh, here we go. I had to get closer to the door. Uh, Wow. It's like stuck in time here. What are these guys? Oh, they're the police bots there. Turn my light on. Elevator. Floor, tw what is it, 22? You got a little monitor here. Companion, oh, that's the companion. Look at this. Charge? Cashier, huh. What's over here? Oh, there's a bar over there. Would be cool if these worked, huh? <laughs> oh my god. What's back here? Oh, okay, it's just more slot machines there. Oh, look at this. It's cool. Look at this cool design. This is cool. I didn't notice that the rug has a Lucky 38 on there. Really pops off of that. And they got check-in over here. You know, coat check-in or something. Oh! Those look like chips in there. Let me turn my light off. Yeah, those look like chips. Ooh, spooky music, too. Oh, we got some pre-war monies. Oh, look at this. I got a little, uh... Good luck. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. A little tiny, uh... Uh, slot machine up there. Oh, there's one here, too. And we've got more pre-war monies. I'll take that. Oh, here. Oh, that's a paperweight. What else we got around here? Right, these safes had a lot of drugs in them. And oh, a little bit of ammo. Oh, look at this. Golden gloves. Boxing times. We got a magazine there. I would have, you know, that would have never noticed that. That is cool. Look at all this sunset sarsaparilla here. I'm going to take it all. So I'm up in the uh, VIP area here. Lots of stacks of cash here. Well, it's just, um, you know, this is the, I didn't know this was here, a stairway. Got some tables down there. VIP lounge. You can look down on the whole place here from up here. Pretty cool. I want to see what these golden boxing gloves are. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's just a hand-to-hand. -hand, what it infects, uh, it infects, inflicts uh, fatigue damage. KO. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna check this. Lucky 38 access point. Leave. Oh. Oh, here's Victor here. Where to, partner? Huh. Penthouse. Wow. Okay, Victor is here to help me out. Floor. Oh, look at this. We got a girl, Jean. You should have seen Mr. House when he heard what you did to the Omeritas. He was as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Okay. Well, can you tell me about... Uh, well, this is probably something general. I'll ask and summarize. So the, the three families are the Emeritus, the White Glove... And the tops. I can't remember their names. Uh, Benny, basically. And the 38 is not open to the public. But, yeah, so that I, I, was, I was always I'm, I was confused about that. So this cleared it up. Okay, so these two seem very similar. Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. So we'll do the first one here. Well, of course I <laughs> am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Oh. Okay, so we get to ask this uh, question here as well. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside. But on the inside, oh. my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Really? You're a copy of a, a dead woman? What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. Huh. I take care of all of them. 
And a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Ah. I really don't want to think about that. And maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> it's the game. They made me do it. Well, that's all there is, I guess. Um, oh, here's this dot, dot, dot thing again. Okay. It just stays there. Um, looks like Victor's our elevator guy. You're uh, always welcome in this Okay. Town. Oh, there he is. That's Mr. House right there. Well, not really. Um, now... There is a a uh, thing around. What is? It? Can you get through here? Oh, we can. There's a Securitron around here that wants our lucky, our globes. So let me try and find this thing. Maybe I don't know. That's the girl. Oh, I just went around a circle. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Welcome, Mr. House. Open antechamber. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, that is interesting. I can't find the robot that wants these globes. Maybe it's converts into, you know, like the... Maybe it converts into one? I wouldn't doubt the antechambers behind here, maybe. Yeah, there's only one way to find out what this does. <laughs> Antichamber, open. Warning. Unauthorized user, yeah, sure. Uh oh. Use of force has been oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm getting my ass murdered here. Ah. Run, run, run. Requires key. <laughs> What's this now? Unlock control room elevator. Oh, I got killed before I get in there. Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Open this. <laughs> Unlock. Yes! Oh, no! Why is it unlocking? Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Control room. <laughs> oh, it said welcome, Mr. House. Oh, bye. I got my ass kicked. <laughs> Okay, I popped a stealth boy. I'm drinking some s sunset sarsaparillas here. And there he is. That is Mr. House. We can't talk to him. Oh, look, there's a thing there that pumps oxygen in. Um, oh, wow, okay, so they're not coming after me. All right, here we go. I just wanted to see what this is. Unseal... LS chamber? Warning, microbial uh, infection risk. Yes. Starting. Check this out. Look at this. Oh my god, that is so cool. Look at this. So this is Mr. House, folks. Oh my god, that is so creepy. Let's talk to him. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. Ha! <laughs> uh, I don't like you. Yes man needs you out of the way? Oh! Okay, yeah, see, there's the yes man option here. Um... Let's talk about, let's talk, tell them about Yes Man. Your vanity project doomed to fail. Okay. <laughs> I'll put you back in your tube, good as new. Uh, yeah, so, well, I, I guess you won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. No, don't disable Cerebral. I'd rather be killed just. Kill me. Okay. Now there is something you can do that um Oh. Can I kill him? I have um. nothing to say. I have Oh, he's nothing to say. Nothing to say. All right. Now to you can you. 
You can kill him with uh, a, a golf club. Ooh. To sterilize Ellis Chamber. Lethal shock risk. Uh, sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, I've lost karma. Oh, wow. It blew him apart. Five experience. Oh, what did it say? Oh, the house has gone bust. I just wanted to see that. Oh, <laughs> it blew him to pieces. I guess... Is that his brain? Oh. The house has gone bust. Oh, interesting. What is that? I thought I saw a mission that came up there. It said the house is bust. Maybe that was the end of that. Okay, well, I wanted to go. I want to go back to uh, past ghost here, but I, when I saw that terminal, I'm like, "Oh, we can actually get over here now." Oh, look at all this stuff down here. Holy cow! This is really creepy, man. A bunch of stuff down there. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, well, looks like walking paths down here. You hear the chains jingling and stuff? Oh, it's so creepy, man. All right, let's go back to past ghost because I'd like to work with Mr. House. Get to see, you know the Kaiser character. Uh, uh, storyline going as well. See, I, I want to see what Mr. House is capable, what we're capable of with, uh, you know, activating this. And then I want to go to Kaisar as well. I'm hoping I can get him going and then do Kaisar as well. So let's go back in time. Hello there, Mr. House. You, you don't know what I did in the future, by the way. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? <laughs> you take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously. An ethic for which I am grateful. Oh, okay. I will admit, when you ignored my invitation, I predicted negative outcomes. Oh. But you have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? It's so well, cool, Howard. Let's have the chip, then. Um, wait a minute. Not so fast. We need to discuss payment. I have questions. I'll be happy to satisfy your every curiosity once the platinum chip has been delivered. Now, okay, this is what I wasn't so sure about. Is, am I forced by walking through the door to, you know, uh, hand over this chip? So let's see about payment. Fine. Give me the chip and I'll pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Oh, wow. 1,000 caps sounds good. Barter 50? <laughs> Holy crap. Very well. Five times your delivery bonus. Not one cap more. 1,250. Oh, you got... Yeah. I can get a better price elsewhere. Hmm. How shall I put this? Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. Oh. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next. Standing alone before me, surrounded by my heavily armed Securitron guards. Okay. How about we have questions? This is not the time for Q&A. Oh. Kindly hand over the chip. I'm not going to give you the chip. Hmm. How shall I put this? Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next. Standing alone before me, surrounded by my heavily armed Securitron guards. Attack me and you risk t destroying the chip. By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine. mine, mine now mine. be a good courier and deliver it. Yikes. Um, I'm not afraid of you, Mr. House. The platinum chip belongs to me. You needn't be afraid of me. Oh. It's my Securitrons that are going to kill you. Is Connection lost. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, they're getting loaded up. No. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Victor! No. Victor, no, no! Okay. Victor, you turned on me. I thought you were my friend. But all along, you were just working for Mr. House. I want to get out of here, and we got to go talk to Kaisar. 
Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Whoa! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Look at this! Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And this is where I come in. Okay, hold up. If you're about to ask me for help, stop. Well, let's go this right. way. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Ghosty diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. <laughs> Let's try it. Ah. I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. Oh, please. I assure you, they will be worth plenty oh. of caps. Okay. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies Emily. for you by the time you come back. Here, oh. take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. What? You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Well, that is very interesting. Okay, now what I find very odd. Okay, I can go in and out of here. But the minute I go upstairs, I have to give him the chip. And if I don't, I get killed. And that's what I wanted to know is what options do I have, right? Because I know I can get the chip back from Kaiser because I had to do a little digging because I was stuck with Kaiser and I didn't know if I could get my fame up. Well, you know. Turns out that all I had to do was go into the tops, kill Benny, and do all that mission line, come out, and then, oh, all my crimes have been, you know, erased with, with Kaiser and the NCR, even though I was working with the NCR already. So that was good to know, based on the fact that, you know, you know, we can mess with Kaiser all day and do the NCR stuff, get the infamy with them, and then we erase it all with Kaiser. That being said, I had no I you know, I I had to know I had to do the research to figure that out because I, I thought we could, you know, work with Kaiser before coming here to the strip, at least somewhat, you know, and build fame. Well, no, we couldn't. Um, so now we know that part of the story here. So now I'm curious about this girl here. And do I have to go I can I get out of the hotel? With not out talking to House and just do the sniffer. So I want to try this out. This is very interesting. This is a new development. I didn't even know this was going to happen. So I want to try this out. Oh, I know. Oh, that's downstairs. What floor, partner? Okay. I can go back down. Oh. Casino floor. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Yeah, you traitor. Okay, there it is. Now, remember, I was up here, and it said Lucky 38 Access Point up here. And I was like, well, what the heck is this? And here it is. Right here. Bug the 38 Network. No way. Return to Emily. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on with Emily. Bye, Victor. Traitor. Hey, oh. have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Honey, calm down. I'm just walking out of the place. Yes, I hear. bugged it. But it looks like the bug Mark was five five. a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually. Oh. Just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Thanks. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Oh, I will. <laughs> Using them. Well, that is a pretty cool turn of events. So going in and out of the casino sparked Emily from the followers. And then, but going up to the Lucky 38, which is cool as I'll get out. Going into the antechamber, which I don't know why it's called that. It's a chamber uh, as it is. So here we are. I think uh, we'll have to... Uh, explore Kaiser next time.
Now, I think my level here, I'm pretty close. Uh, what am I? Oh, gosh, I'm 300 points, 350 less than. All right, let me go level up with some with some creatures. And, uh, well, I think if um, if it's not a level, I, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a, a level up, not a perk level up. But I could be wrong. No, I think there's a perk one. So I'd like to get that caught on episode so then I can go out and mess around a little bit. Not have to worry about leveling up off screen when I'm doing various things. All right, let's go find some trouble. Ho, 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 ho. Ripped him apart. Hello, little red scorpion. Come to Papa. Ooh, two of them. Oh, hi. <laughs> right in the air. 100. There we go. There it is. Level up. Takes a while. All right. All right. Barter, I'm rounded up to 70. I could put the plus 10. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I got um, Eddie's suit plus the hat for 10 and a book. That'll bring me up to 100 barter if I need it. Energy weapons, we're done. And then, like I said, we got to start focusing on attack. You know, like if I can get a sneak attack, you know, with some bombs, lob bombs at, at these clowns, then, you know, that's good for, uh, for me. The problem is they wait, you know, it's extra weight. You know, it's half a, you know half per I think on some of the stuff but I think throwables are pretty good you know they're good to have all right yep there we go it is a perk time all right I was gonna take your uh this one here um you're just just so excited about plasma that you can't magnetically contain yourself and it's an AP reduction in cost for all plasma weapons and it's 20%. Now, I'm not really... I mean, I just got my energy weapons up, so that'd be nice. However, concentrated fire is nice for all weapons. And what this does, it's in vats. It increases slightly with each subsequent hit on, this, on the same body part. So what happens is if you target a leg and it's like, say, 80%, the next hit is like 81 or 2 or whatever. It goes up. So if you can do, like with the Maria gun, the 9mm pistol, the Benny one that shot me in the head, I can actually get up, you know, it will go beep, 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 you know, you get so many hits that, so you could target a leg on a ghoul and basically pretty much kill it. And if you don't, you're most likely going to cripple it. Um, so I'm going to go with concentrated fire. And, you know, like I was saying before, you know, last time we leveled up, I want sniper, I want the faster sneak, I want all these things. Uh, so, oh, and a bunch of things opened up with the explosives being higher, too. Uh, and also energy weapons. So I'm going to go a uh, done. That was tough, man. Some of these perks are like, oh, I want that one, but it's not covering everything I want. Oh, and then there's a, a perk that only, I thought it covered 9mm pistols. Is actually this... Um, it covers these here. Oops. Um, what the hell? Oh, I got the thing up there. Get out of there. It covers the auto 9 mil and auto 10 mil. These things. I thought it covered the handguns. So what you need is accuracy and vats. Uh, there's no damage multipliers or anything like that for the handguns from what I can see. And so it's all auto stuff in vats. But these auto weapons, man, they're really pretty. They're pretty powerful in vats. All right, I came out here to level up. This is the southern part of the map. A lot of little little enemies, easy to take care of. So next episode, we're going to go talk to Kaisar and see what that path's about. And I want to work with him 
and the Legion because there's a pair of lucky sunglasses or glasses we can get, and I might I want those uh, for the rest of the game, and uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to I wanted to see what Mr. House was gonna do. He just wanted the chip, and you know, yeah, rightfully it's his. He he called it up and wanted it. Uh, it is his, but I I don't want that. I want to work with Kaiser and see where that goes because I haven't I, we haven't even seen the guy in this playthrough until now. So let's do it. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out.